What chicken? C Dog Gaming here. How is everybody? Um, so I have been doing a bit of stuff here. Actually, quite a bit of stuff. I managed to go ahead. I made our power situation a bit better. We've now got two steam dynamos running basically all the time, and I've got a fluid transposer and a redstone furnace now, as well as a pulverizer. Um, so yeah, that's that's all pretty good, uh, all good and well. Um, our slime tree farm over there is working pretty well, and um, cows are escaping. I have no idea how all these cows are escaping, but soon we might actually just want to start dumping them into the smeltery to get blood. Um, but, oh, by the way, in the smeltery we've got some lead, aluminum, brass, iron, like, quite a bit of stuff here. I went ahead and did a bit of stuff. I um, also made leadstone stuff. We've got an obsidian ingot. Um, and I made this pick. It's got an alumite tool rod and an obsidian head, which I should have done the other way around, I found out. Um... So it's kind of an epic fail, but oh well. Let's see, do we have any alumite in here? Yeah, we do have some alumite still. Alumite, there. Now that's on the bottom for if we want to do anything with it. Um, some glass. I've been cooking up some glass here and there just to get some of it going. I also did some clear glass, um, which you can just throw sand into the smeltery. Um, but it's just getting really inefficient with only one drain, so, yeah. Um, so I've now, we now have Mine Factory reloaded in our pack, or the, I say pack, of course, with a, like a pack, because it's not really a pack, um, but now we've got Mine Factory Reloaded, which looks really cool, and I'm excited to get into it. One of the main setbacks, though, in that I noticed is if we go into, um, let's just say planter, for say, or per se. Um, so we need plastic sheets and a factory machine block. Okay, well, how do we make a factory machine block? Just regular stone and plastic sheets. How do we make plastic sheets? With raw plastic. How do we make raw plastic? With a rubber bar. How do we make a rubber bar? From either balls of glue or from raw rubber. So I need to go venture out to new non-generated lands um, to get a, whatchamacallit? Like a, whatever that thing is called. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, yeah, I need rubber saplings so that I can start doing some of this Mine Factory Reloaded stuff. I might go just do that off camera. Um, because I want to do some stuff with that. So, uh, yeah, I will. I'll go do that and I'll be back with you in a second. Alright guys, so I got rubber trees. It turns out that we really have not explored at all over in that direction so these rubber trees were spawning like really close so I didn't have to go far at all. I took my airship for a spin again um, and parked it over there. It, it's good. I definitely want to make a bigger one though. Right now it's just wool that's a problem because our sheep can't grow their wool back after we harvest it. So one of the downsides of living in a desert but yeah. So, um, I've gone ahead here. This chest, I've got the four recipes we're gonna need. Um, like that. So why don't we just get all of this stuff in our inventory. We've got all these bricks, all of these plastic sheets. It turns out to make raw plastic you have to double refine rubber bars, which is a little bit annoying, but... So, let's go ahead and make one of those guys. Make two of these guys. And make one of these guys. Um, 
and then let's go ahead and make the thing. So we've got a planter now. Wait, how many? It gives us three factory machine blocks. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. So actually, we could make some more of these planters. Um, hmm. So let's uh, need some sand. Where do I keep some sand? Um, oh, by the way, this is an igneous extruder. Just spitting out cobble. I think I did that in the last episode, though, so that's not new. Um, we got some sand here. I don't think, luckily, I don't think any of these Mine Factory Reloaded things need power. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Darn. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. So, um, hmm. So we want. I don't know how. Okay. So maybe I have to place it right here. Um, yeah. Let's do it right there. And I'll grab some leadstone energy conduits. Where are they? Where are all my leadstone energy conduits at? Um, did I dump them somewhere? It might be in my airship chest. Let's check around here one more time to make sure that they're not here. Hmm, might be in here. Let's do leadstone. Nope. Haha, -ha, there they are. There. That is how to fix blindness in Minecraft. Alrighty, so eh, 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 eh. there. Oh. There. Mm. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. So, now this should be, yep, it's receiving power, so let's take that filter off, um, and let's go ahead and throw some of these jobbies in. So, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna do that, I don't really know. So now, if I am to go like this... Will it? No. Um, so if I do maybe something along the lines of this, will it do anything then? I don't know how to use this thing. I think I have to plant or put this guy in the center. Um, hmm. All I need to do is... Um, let me just check up on this for a sec. Alright guys, so I figured out how to get it working. I'm not sure if any of these trees here will actually grow, but basically it only does a 3x3 three three area on top of it, um, so I had to do this. Um, the next thing I wanted to build though is a harvester, because it's also going to be needed for, um, yeah, for doing the, like, destroying the trees. That's what I was trying to say. So we want to build a harvester. Can I do it? No, I need one more plastic. I think I have, yeah, I had plastic cooking up over here. So let's take this stuff and now we should be able to, hmm? oh, is it just because I've got oh I need the shears I had to do this all right now yeah I think I need to go in and manually put them in but this is okay because we've got ourselves our very own harvester let's go to sleep and then talk a bit more about our plan. Oh, 
Oh, good morning, everyone. Um, so we've got this. How's everything going over here? Cows are escaping like there's no tomorrow. I mean, that's kind of a cool plan. What we could do is try to populate the desert with cows. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Alright. Shear leaves? Yes. Um, actually, do we want to shear leaves? I don't know. I think I'm fine without shearing the leaves. So what I want to do- oh, wrong side. That's good. Um, there. So now basically what I want to do, so it's getting power. When these trees grow, let's see, will, will any of them grow? Whoa. Yeah. I guess that one grew. Um, whoa, okay. Um, I think I'm just getting some recording lag here, so sorry about that, guys. Let's just build a couple chests. And, alright. Wow! <laughs> that is quite the incredible amount of stuff. Let's, okay, got some carpenter's blocks on us, why don't we let's make them wood, maybe. Let's do, like, this. That looks good, and then... Oh, it's shearing that tree. That's fantastic, because that's been a real pain, because it hasn't, like, despawned or anything. Wow. Ah! Oh, I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. Alright, so now we should be routing um, the saplings that we get from this. Um, I don't know how to... Oh, I think we've got to use pneumatic servos, so item duck. Yeah, I want one of these. So tin and lead. I think I can swing that. Where's some tin? We might have to get some cooking here. But yeah, there's silver. I know we've got our tin bush farm, but that's not very fast. So tin. Here's some lead. Here's some more tin. So um. I'll throw some of this stuff into the smeltery. Actually, we can just... Uh, actually, with the pulverizer, I guess there's, to an extent it's a bit slower because then we have to further smelt the stuff. And, yeah. So. Let's just check how is the this guy down here doing for saplings. It's got four left. So... Hmm. We want to be pushing, for the most part, saplings. Huh. That's kind of cool. Um, we want to, for the most part, be pushing saplings down to that guy down there. Um, and pushing the other, like most of the other stuff, into a chest or what I want to do is have a bit of the wood going and making charcoal to fuel our steam dynamos, which we can then um, just run indefinitely to run all of our machines and stuff. And we'll probably get some more steam dynamos. I know they're not like super, they're not the most efficient way I can be doing this, but this is the way I want to do it. So this is the way we're going to do it for now. And yeah. So. We've got lots of wood, lots of apples. Hmm. Alright, well, we've got our tin. Here's our tin. So let's make some item ducts. Um, item duct. There we go. And, yeah, sure. There we go. We got 24 item ducts. And how do we make pneumatic servos 
we need iron, redstone, and glass. So, this shouldn't be too hard. Glass, redstone, and I think I have some iron over here. Oh, wait, no, I've got some in my inventory. How convenient. So we've got ourselves one pneumatic servo. No, 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 no. All right, guys, I'll be back in a sec once this is all cleaned up. All right, guys, so I just wanted to update um, you guys on what's happening here. So I've got my harvester all set up. So basically this will destroy all of the trees and the leaves and stuff. Um, I've got a chest here which takes all of the stuff. Um, let's throw that apple in there. And the saplings are just being routed through to the planter, which will just infinitely plant them, which is helpful. Um, the thing I want to work on next, though, which is really quite cool and helpful, is have the wood from that farm be sent into these through item ducts. Um, and as charcoal, um, and that charcoal be used to run my whole system. I've also just blocked off this area here because I didn't want another creeper blast like that. Um, yeah, so I will try to figure out because we're going to need to. Let's just do something like this. Make it look nicer. I'm going to need to figure out, or I'm going to need to make a couple pneumatic servos. Because what I want it to do is not all the time just take all my wood, because sometimes I will need wood, um, which I can just turn off the thing then. So I think what I should do for that, yep, yeah, it's working pretty well, how many? We've got an apple from that. This is crazy good. We're just getting so many, um, like, trees and things. This is so good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to build another redstone furnace. Um, oh, we still got bricks from before, wherever those might be. Are they in here? No. Um... Where are they? Bricks? Yeah, here are the bricks. Alright, so I'll be right back once I've created another redstone furnace. Alright, so guys, welcome back. Sorry for the break. Um, yeah, uh, actually just give me one sec. Alright, um, so I went ahead, um, I also made a aqueous accumulator which is getting water like there's no tomorrow um and we've got it going into here i have a redstone furnace set up smelting the oak wood from this now sadly i'm so sad what is the lag from is it this guy no is it yikes there is something going on. I will kill a couple of these jobbies here. So this very well might be might be the source of our lag. Um, the yeah. So basically, I'm trying to make it fully self-sufficient. For some reason, I've got the um, ah. I've got this all set up here like there's an item duct going down that should be going there but I don't not quite sure what's going on there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one more pneumatic servo do I have all the stuff no I just need some iron um let's throw that guy away let's make another Wow, the frames are real here. I don't understand why. It was completely fine before. Okay, let's make one pneumatic servo. Um, 
And what I want to try, because I might not be able to pull the items from this side specifically, so let's try um, just taking out that micro block over there and get connecting those two guys together. Um, and then I want to install. Oh, there's all. Wait, can I install it in the pipe? Is it installed in the pipe? No. Um, so it's installed on that edge. The one thing I'm wondering is if I can just do. Um, that's not getting anywhere, it doesn't seem. So if I go into that pneumatic servo, um, I want to add wood to the pneumatic servo. Urgh. This is so annoying. And I've dropped some stuff and uh, it's just not a not a good day. Okay, so let's throw away that stick and we'll pick it back up, probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, so now we'll throw wood in there as well. Hmm. Do I have a ghost thing here? No? Alright, well, I don't want the sugar cane very much. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to figure out, because I want the wood to go specifically down that path and all of the other, like the saplings to go down here. Um, let's see, I might have to install, this is probably the way to do it, so I'll install a pneumatic servo on this and say, okay, I want to have um, just saplings going in here, because saplings and wood could have gone in there before. So we'll see, are things going in here? Looked like they were. Did I fix it? Yes, I did! Oh, this is fantastic. Fantastic news. Um, so now I'll move this lever over here. And then I can turn it off whenever I need. Yeah, alright. So let's throw that guy on there. And I will just go ahead and say thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, all of those things that make you guys great people. Um, and I hope to see you all in the next installment of Minecraft or whatever we decide to do. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys then. Take care.